Misconceptions about mental illness often lead those afflicted to feel shameful about seeking treatment, especially when they're young. Child and Adolescent Services at Markham Stovall Hospital is dedicated to helping children and teens conquer their challenges with mental illness. This is Daily Web TV. Emotional illness are very common in children and adolescents. Around 18 to 20 percent of them actually suffer from symptoms that affect their day-to-day -day functioning. Untreated conditions pose great risk of developing major mental illness in the future. Now, treating them early as well as providing them uh, strategies in coping with day-to-day -day stressors will help increase their confidence as well as resilience in facing the future. We offer an array of treatments for children and adolescents in our clinic. We always begin with a thorough assessment because we want to make sure we really identify the problem or problems that exist. And once we do that evaluation, we then sit down and collaborate with families and kids to determine what treatment option is best for them. We offer individual, group and family treatments here at the clinic and regardless of the approach in terms of individual family or group we are always using the most effective treatments we know we're based in research and we also supplement that effective treatment with creative approaches with kids because we want to engage them and want them to want to come back for example in our anxiety group for kids we are offering yoga as well as creative arts activities to teach kids how to overcome their fears and in terms of our adolescent depression group, we not only teach the kids by talking on uh, the concept of changing their behavior to change their mood, but we actually take them to the gym and help them start that process of changing their behavior. I know for Joshua, anything new is always difficult. Um, getting him to karate, getting him to swimming is always difficult, but one day I said to Joshua, it's sand day today, don't forget. He said, oh. Thank goodness I need it today. And I was like, wow, why do you need it? And he said, because I need to get work through a few more things and finish off a story. So for me, I know that Joshua is getting a lot out of his sand therapy and he recognizes in himself that he needs it. So I am so happy for it. Sand play therapy is one of the play-based creative approaches we use here at Markham. The child will use dry or wet sand and the miniature figures to create a three-dimensional scene, or a sand picture as we call it. The sand pictures help us to understand the child's issues, strengths, potential outcomes, and how the treatment is progressing. Children enjoy creating sand pictures and they go away with an experience of self-satisfaction. So when they leave, they are feeling already better about themselves and more hopeful about the progress of their work. Help MSH fight the stigma of child and adolescent mental illness. From July 9th to the 21st, 2011, a dedicated group of physicians from Markham Stovall Hospital and community leaders will embark on a journey of a lifetime, the ascension of Mount Kilimanjaro, the summit of Africa. For more information, visit climbtoconquer.mshf.on.ca. Keeping you informed, I'm Sheila Clark, and you've been watching Daily Web TV.